Kenyan yes. will exaggerate, but he will not lie. Because even mm-hmm. they are Kenyans, they know English. Like I think mm-hmm. if you want to see like Mount Kilimanjaro very well, you have to be in Kenya. Huh? Is it what they mean? Can, you know, you know these are Kenyans. They must exaggerate everything to fit in their. And Which is only Kenya go there. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Kenya guys. Come on. <laughs> Kenya is the only country using hey. Shembetang. <laughs> Hi guys, this is its prize. Finally, its prize made 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you so so much for enabling its prize reach 1,000 subscribers. You're not talking about the watch hours. It's very hard to make 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> I made 1,000 subscribers, and the next day I made f- no. I it's made 1,000 no. subscribers. The next day it's I made 4,000 watch, watch hours. hours. Wow. Thank you so much for loving its prize. You have showed me love. Too, too much love. Rachel, what are you saying about that? Go to its Rachel's show. Yeah, go to Rachel's show. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she's beginning to call her channel It's Rachel because of me. <laughs> go to Rachel's show. Subscribe to my channel, Road to 5K. Road to 5K, so me now. Eh, I feel like I used to tell my sister that for me, I only need <laughs> 1,000 subscribers. <laughs> It was so hard it to reach 1,000 subscribers. Actually, it I moved up to 553. You can remember. So, it's been two months. It's not even two months. It's one month and a few weeks ever since I left Qatar and came to Uganda. And when I came to Uganda, I concentrated my YouTube channel. And in less than two months, you guys blew me up. So, right now, I qualify to monetize my channel. My channel. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. I was telling you a story mm-hmm. that I used to tell my sister Rachel that me, only 1,000. Only God. She if was like, only 1,000. Only, only, only just 1,000. If only I get 1,000 and 4,000 Rachel and, and, and I'm monetized, only that one is enough. Mm, and it came when she least expected it. Whoosh. Hey. Thank you Every so day much, she was like, eh, Who am I, Lord? <laughs> hey, who am I? Me. Me. Hey. Nobody knows me uh, because, the the <laughs> because there's very many people on YouTube, very, very many. I just, my channel just grew organically, organically. up to 1,000 subscribers mm. and hit 4,000 watch hours mm. and more. People mm. are still watching my videos. They're like, who, who are I? Whom are you? Whom are I? Your dad is watching. <laughs> <laughs> This girl went and subscribed, Daddy. Now, uh, eh. no problem. People here don't know YouTube, so let him subscribe and keep watching and be like, hey, "What's happening? What's happening?" Oh, it's no problem. If English, if English, <laughs> if English can get one k views, it's fine. And money. You want me to speak like? Uh, 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 no, 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 no. So I know somebody who said Rachel is eating. Yes. Hey, this castle of Uganda is nice. Fresh. But as if this is not that fresh. I will I keep thanking know. you and thanking you and thanking you and I'll be applying for monetization, mm-hmm. the process, you know? Yeah, at least now. So, you know, there is a last video. Is it Which the one? last video? There's a time we talked about things people don't know about Kenya. Mm. We talked things people don't know about Kenya and in the comment section, people gave us very many comments mm. and they also wrote about other things that mm. they wanted people to know about. Mm. Did you read the comments? Yeah. People were really telling us, talk about this, even this one, then others of course were congratulating me upon reaching 1,000 subscribers. Mm. They were sending love. Mm. They were sending very sweet messages. So today, I have I went in the comment section, Rachel, mm-hmm. and I picked out some of the things. People, and these are Kenyans. Who are, are, you r- are you going to say their names? Yes, no problem. Mm. I only have one phone which I'm using to record, so I went in my phone and wrote them. <laughs> on the you have told me no, I wanted to be organized. Ah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rich <Madame> kid. <laughs> <laughs> and rich and kid. <laughs> so, number one, someone was so like, what are you price. Trying to say? I want to add on the list of things people don't know about Kenya. People, because people are like, there is this, there is that. We did not talk about this, we did not talk about this. And the points were so, so many. many. I was like, no way, I have to bring this. Because I don't think they are lying. 
Of Someone is like, no. you didn't talk about this. I just got this part two from the comment section. I didn't go anywhere. And these were Kenyans who were saying this and this. A Kenyan will exaggerate, but he will not lie. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. It will be something small and they will exaggerate it. But it won't, but it won't, it be, won't a be a lie. Yeah. Okay, so, Lobito Kenya said, said, Prize, talk about Kenya's currency compared to, you know, I saw that comment even with um, the it Masi. came twice. Masi. Yeah. No, uh, guys. Why well, don't you wait for Kenyan currency? Time? I have a 500 feeling. I want to go and exchange it on camera. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then Masi was like, ca- ca- uh, Kenyan Kenya's currency, currency is, is the strongest. It's the strongest in, in East Africa. Africa. I don't know about Tanzania. Ooh, it's like I this. don't know about Me Tanzania. I've been there. It's like this. <laughs> but what I know, Ugandan shillings and Kenyan shillings, Kenyan value is high. So Tanzania's is also so Kenya Kenya's currency is has most value in East Africa. True. Yeah, true. That's very yeah. true. Did you know that? I didn't know that. I didn't know about the shillings of are we better than Tanzania? I don't remember, but yeah, also them they're in millions. So we are almost in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> so Lobito and Masse, yeah, people should watch this and know that Kenyan shillings it has the highest value compared to other East African countries. And then if we ask anything Maybe. and then we are not sure, be po- polite in your comment section. We don't are in the comment section learning. Oh, hey. Comment section us. is teaching us a lot. Yeah. So now, guess what? George. Oh, I hope I... Okay. George, Nguru. I think, is it Nguru or Naguru? <laughs> George. So George said, Wikipedia has not yet updated. Wikipedia. Yes. Wikipedia has not yet updated, but GTB is the new tallest building in Qatar. You know what I said that it's in a great Kenya, term. Mama, mama, it's oh Kenya. shit! Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia is has not yet updated, but GTB is the new tallest building in Kenya. We had said that it's Britain. Yeah, people said no, 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 no. Everybody was saying no in the comments. Anyway, section. there was really too much correction on this point. Yeah. Thank you so much for your correction. But let's just now talk only about Kenya. GTB. Mm. No, even Wikipedia has not yet updated. Because up Wikipedia still says Britam Tower is the tallest. Britam Tower is the tallest. But George is saying GTB is actually the a new tall. building and it is the tallest in Kenya. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Somebody comment down below. Is it true? Then still... George. George actually had very many points. <laughs> but some of the, if you don't hear your comment, just know we still, we have a lot. Yes. We may not talk about like everything today. Mm. So George still said, Ken, you know you said that Kenyan is not English and Kiswahili? Yeah. Yes. So George mm. added on that <laughs> point okay. and said, Kenyans know at least three languages, English, Swahili, and a native language. Eng- eh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, it's possible because you know English, you yes. know, you know, let's say, but the whole country, of course, some people don't know English. There's somebody who was on my comment section telling me how much uh, you cannot fail to find somebody who knows English in three people you speak to in the coast. I told her, this is not London, even me in my country, the people are literate in some areas, so. It's not a must they must know English, but at least they must know Swahili. And then may then the local language, yes. It's like the way you know your local language. Yeah, of course. And then maybe so there English. Are some, but like Swahili, like of course, like everybody. Yeah, like come on, come on. You're gonna be a kind of you know Swahili, like where do you live? So you have to know Swahili and at least your local language. You just but make them English, two. Some people English, I mean like your local language and Swahili. English you will attack us in the comment section that you all know. Just because, you know, they're Kenyans. They know English. <laughs> English. Okay, we are learning. We just... Somebody said at least. We know. We under- Yeah, you know. You know. So, you know, mm. we said that the Britain building is owned by British American, you know. But this person, Efantas Karari, was like, it's actually owned by locals. I don't know. How true is that? Comment in the section, in the... S- down Comments. below. Oh, and Kenyans can know everything. You cannot is the... Them. Is Britain Tower owned by locals? Because on Google, it's like it's owned by 
British American. Ah, somebody commented about its yeah, name. Someone and said yeah. that it's owned by locals. That it's, it's not, not owned, owned by British people. Those people. Mm. All right. Next. Next. So, mm-hmm. Rex Majong. Ah, Rex Majong. I've seen him several in your mm-hmm. comment sections. I think this one we uh, guys this one. pause if you've not subscribed to my channel please Rachel's go show. to Rachel's show subscribe let's go let's go <laughs> let's go for me I ask God please only 1000 <laughs> subscribers I don't know what to say <laughs> God gave me the 1000 subscribers gave me I'm um, just yeah God do your will whatever you say that I want give me <laughs> me I want 100k Hey, the way you prayed that only one K is enough for me. How can I then go back and walk <laughs> and beg <laughs> and beg again? Uh-huh. So the best So this one this, this one is a new man. point. Rex told us the highest mountain is in Tanzania, but Kenya has the best view of it. Kenya owns the view. Like I think if you want to see like Mount Kilimanjaro very well, you have to be in Kenya. Huh? Is it what they mean? <laughs> When you're flying over to hey, Uganda, a there's a place around Kenya. Around Kenya, there's where they tell you that there is a view. Thank you. When when um, when you're approaching Kenya, anyway, let's say when you're flying around on top above Kenya, you have a very good view of Mount Kilimanjaro. So the mountain is in Tanzania, but the Kenya best has view. the view. Oh, Jesus like Christ. Like, you can view it from t- Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, that one we didn't know. Even, I think we had not even talked about it, but this person was just, you know, adding yeah. on the list. Some things we didn't talk about, some things we talked about and we corrected, and people, mm. some things were just adding on the list. Yeah. I hope you're still there. That's true. Please even don't click out of this video. I still have very many points, and I see, like, it's already 11 minutes. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, Blaze is saying, did, Do you know that Kenya, being on the equator, <laughs> is the only country in the world where snow is found all the year round? The sun passes directly above Mount Kenya, but being so high, the heat doesn't melt the snow. Um, what, what's that? If you, me, Can what I repeat the point? No. Did what you understand saw, it? What I saw around that is the equator. We also have the equator back in our what country. What about the snow? But we don't have the snow. Yeah. So you can take the snow and then just leave the equator alone. Because we Did have several okay. equators here. Let me repeat this. Somebody needs to hear it again. <laughs> Did you it's know that? Geography. Did you know that Kenya, being on the equator, is the only country in the world where snow is found all the year round? The sun passes directly above Mount Kenya, but being so high, the heat doesn't melt the snow. I didn't know that. That's too much geography. I on. didn't know that. Please tell us in the comment section, even about Mount Kilimanjaro, is it they who own the view? Please. Not that they own the view, but they can, you know, you know, these are Kenyans. They must exaggerate everything to fit in there. Which is a good yeah, I guess. Of course. Okay. Then you have to speak for your own. Who will speak for them if they don't speak for their own? So... Yeah. Now, this is Anthony Kamau. I know he will watch uh, this video. Uh, I've seen Anthony Kamau in the comment section. Yeah. Uh. This one, it's a new point. Anthony Kamau said, Kenya is the only country in the world that has two national parks within the city. Nairobi, that is Nairobi National Park and Nakuru National Park. You mean a national park can be in the city? And Kenya got two. I think there is one which Did is you know that? some road. Yeah, that park is there. It's not like in the uh, in the city. Yes, or like he said in the city. Somebody confirm. We it's, need it's there. along some road. Okay. Heading maybe to the city. I At don't least know. we I'm know. I'm not sure, but yeah, you can also have a national park in the city. Come on, well, ah. two of them, not only one, <laughs> and only Kenya go out there. <laughs> ah, I know one will tell us the ah. truth. One, of, I mean, most of them will tell us the truth in the comment section. So, guys, and the only ca- I think this is again Nakuru, uh, Anthony Kamau still said, and the only country that produces electricity through geothermal energy in African continent is Kenya. <laughs> what is geothermal? That geothermal one. energy. That's why we're supposed to find out what geothermal is. Then we can speak. 
Otherwise, I don't know. What's geothermal energy? Know, I need to read about it. It's some type of electricity. Maxwell Mackenzie Mambos. Not the only country section. that Kira produces Sinku. electricity through geothermal in African continent. Let's go to Maxwell. Okay. Maxwell Mackenzie. He was talking about, he was correcting us on the tallest buildings in, in Africa. That the first one is in Egypt, second and third in South Africa, the fourth is in Ethiopia, and then the fifth is in Kenya. That was Maxwell Mackenzie. People have read. <laughs> we told you we don't read books to come Now, out guys, here. this is a Ugandan. Finally. Trust. Hey, Uganda. But so he's been guy. he's been watching our videos. He's telling me price style up. The whole Wachiga land is full of tea growing. Um for Koto. We did not price. say that Uganda is not growing tea. But you know that ever since I was born, we had never seen a plant of tea. People have started growing tea. Did you study job? Did like you make everybody? Tri- there was tea, but not everywhere. But at least like, you, you didn't. You uh, there is this tea. place in Chamhunga, Bushen. You must have tea. seen tea only that. Maybe but you outgrew the picture. But we are saying that picture. Kenya is the, you know, you are growing tea, it's fine. But if you are growing six acres, you know that like someone who is growing 600 acres. So if you are saying that Kenya is leading in tea, we are not saying that Uganda is not what? Those Making tea. Praying. Okay, so trust we didn't like say that we are not growing tea completely, but we just said that Kenya is leading. Okay, yes, now this is trust again. Trust said on coffee price, Uganda and Ethiopia, we are the leading producers. So, our point was coffee is one of Kenya's highest. Export. We didn't say Kenya is number one. We did not say Kenya is number two. We said coffee is is one of Kenya's highest export. So trust. We didn't say that Kenya is the, is number one. We just said that it is the highest export in their country. Okay, we're talking about Kenya, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> we are talking about Kenya. So we didn't say that Kenya is leading. We said it is their highest export in like yeah. They so we didn't talk much, much of the coffee like, in, their, yeah, in country. their country. I think These the are the things you didn't know about Kenya. Kenya. Do you get the title did and you, the title was clear. Things you didn't know. But thank you for about watching Kenya. all the way Trust. from Uganda. Trust. I hope you will watch this Magilu. video. <laughs> and also Uganda grows tea, but Kenya is yeah is leading. Yeah, I think that was the only. Now he will come for you again. Say. Mm-hmm. Just coffee like is one of Kenya's highest yes. exports. Like that doesn't give Kenya, Kenya a position. position yes. Yes. Everybody is fighting to be on the top. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's talk. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Then this is Masi. Yeah, Masi, Masi, Empire Africa. Yeah, he was, she was saying Kenya. Why have you skipped? <laughs> skipped? Why have you skipped Kalenjin? What is Kalenjin saying? Kalenjin culture. Kenya is the one. Oh, that point. How could you skip that one? Let me even read that one. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kenya is the only country using hey. Shembeteng. I like the way people are patriotic. Wow. Ah, so Shembeteng is not anywhere else. It's only in Kenya. You Did can only you find such that? things in Kenya. Wow. Thank you, Kalenjin culture. Kalenjin culture. Yeah. Ah. Next, then Massey Empire, Empire Africa. This one you had already talked about. Massey Empire Uganda. Okay. She by this time you know what to respond. You've been in Kenya in Uganda for almost a year. Read her point. Kenya shillings is the strongest in East Africa, definitely. Yes. Did you know that? We had not mentioned about that. We didn't mention about it, but yeah, when I went there, I realized yeah we are doing so bad. Then Davis Wanyumba. Did you know the first African woman to win a Nobel Peace Pri- Prize, Prize was, was from, from Kenya? Kenya? Professor, Professor Wangari. Wangari. I love how you guys connect to our content. Thank and you so much. Take time to yeah. comment down below. below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Rachel's Show. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, and this is actually on Google. When I went to Google, I found it that... Uh, the first Kenyans lady, smart. the I first African woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize was from Kenya. Mm. 
Yes, so I think that is all. Yeah. Oh, shh. the video is so long. There are so many points. Some I skipped. I think I will. I don't know whether you will bring a part three. But thank you so much for loving its prize. One thousand subscribers in yes. more than two months ever since I came more from Qatar. In less than. In less than two months ever since I came from Qatar. So thank you so much for the love, for giving me energy to keep making more content for you. Yeah, I'm talking only facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And thank you so much for following and commenting and giving me those thumbs in, thumbs up and sharing my videos. And this is my sister. If you have not connected to Rachel, please. Rachel's kindly. show. Kindly connect to Rachel. And we have to end this video, okay? Yes. Bye-bye. Good night. So, evening. Sana.